All right, so let's take some equations that are not in the point-slope form and rewrite them so that they are in the point-slope form. Um, this is a uh, point-slope where, and it's called that because it gives you information about one point on the line and the slope of the line. And it works like this. Uh, y minus, all right, so you've got this, all right, back up. Um, you've got the slope of the line and a point on the line, let's say 3, 4, I don't know, at x equals 3, y is 4. Uh, we call the coordinates of that point x1 and y1 for the purpose of the equation. So uh, so the equation is y minus the y coordinate of the point that's on the line is equal to the slope times x minus the x coordinate of the point on the line. So that's what that means. Um, now. Let's, okay, so let's convert these guys. Um, converting from slope-intercept form is pretty straightforward because slope-intercept form gives you uh, some good information right away. Um, so this is the slope-intercept form. So y, let's write this here. Y equals m x plus b. So uh, we don't need to do too much work here. The, this already gives us the information we need. Um, so the slope of this of this line is four, and the y-intercept is is negative three. So we know a point on the line, the y-intercept, the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. So it crosses at y equals negative three. Oh, I can't write a three. I okay. Uh, we know it crosses at y equals negative three. Um, or just to, to draw, if, it, if we're doing a graph of this, this line uh, crosses at y equals negative three right there. I don't know if that helps at all. This is tiny and messy. Um, and what's the x-axis or what's the x-coordinate of of the y-intercept? Always zero. Says, what does x have to be for the line to actually cross the y-axis? Well, if it's going to cross right there, you know that's x is zero, right? So just by looking at the slope-intercept form, you get the slope and a point on the line, and it's one special point. It's not just for the for the point slope; it's just any point will work. For slope-intercept, it tells you a special point, which is the y-intercept. So in this case, it's zero. Um, uh, uh, negative three. So I was just checking the the signs here. Um, mx plus b. Yeah. So okay. So we could we could rewrite this as plus negative three just to make it clear, right? Okay. So that tells us the slope and a point on the line, and that's all we need to know for the for the point slope form. So we've got for the point slope we've got y uh, minus the y coordinate of a point on the line. So minus the y coordinate minus our negative three, that's a y, another y coordinate, equals uh, the slope times x minus the x coordinate of, of the point on the line, minus zero. So there you have it. That's the point slope form. If you really want to, you can change that to y plus three if, if it makes you feel weird to have minus a negative. Uh, you can do that. So you see that it would actually, if you were to undo this, you know, distribute the 4, 4x um, plus 0, it was y minus negative 3, you could plus negative 3. Anyway, it would undo itself to be in this equation. So there you go. So that's point slope form. Let's try it again. Let's try it with another one in slope intercept, and then we'll, we'll kick it up a notch. Um, okay, so given that this uh, equation is in slope intercept form, we know the slope is 3. And we know that the y-intercept is 0, 8. Okay, so we know the slope and a point on the line, so we can we can rewrite the equation. So we, y minus the y-coordinate of a point on the line is equal to the slope times x minus the x-coordinate. Now, why would you write, I mean, x minus 0, why don't you just call it x? Yeah, right, exactly. But 
if you have it in this form, even though this is kind of redundant, it, it gives you information about the line. It tells you a point on the line, and it tells you the slope. So even if it looks weird to put it in, in the point slope form, don't don't worry about it. That the actual structure of the equation is is conveying some information that would be lost if you didn't write it that way, or it would be it'd be more difficult to uncover if you didn't write it that way. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's switch colors too, just to indicate that we're making progress. That's not very different. Let's, I don't know. Okay, so we've got this is an equation in standard form. 2x plus 3y equals 12. So um, let's just do this kind of the, the hack the hack way, where we just manipulate the equation until it looks like that. All right? Uh, we're not pretending that we know anything about the equation. Uh, we're we're just gonna hack at it until it looks like this. Okay? So we want just y or y related stuff over here. So um, I would say the first thing, let's just get Let's just move that 2x to the other side. So we'll subtract it from this side, and it'll go to this side. Um, so we'll subtract it from that side, too. So we've got 3y, again, struggling to draw 3s. Uh, 3y equals, um, and I'll just call this negative 2x plus 12 instead of 12 minus 2x. Same thing. Um, OK. Now, um, what do we need? Um, we've got, so let's divide by three, actually first, 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 let's, let's do this thing. Um, so if we, if we pull out a factor here, um, this negative two, we can then, um, we can write this as x um, minus 6 because negative 2 times x is negative 2x negative 2 times negative 6 is 12 right so we're just f uh, factoring this to make it look like it's in this form alright now let's divide by 3 to get y by itself um, so we got y equals negative 2 over 3 times x minus 6. Now everything's good except we don't have a y coordinate here. Um, or, you know, we haven't written it so it looks like this. So we could do y minus 0 equals negative 2 thirds times x minus Six. So what we know from this is that the slope of this line is negative two thirds, and we know that the point six zero six zero is on the line. All right, let's do one more. Um, so this is just kind of random. This is not in standard form or slope intercept or anything like that. So we just want to mess with it until it looks like that. Um, this is truly a mess. Okay, let's see here. Well, let's let's we want y on the left side, x on the right side, so you know, let's just kind of swap a -roo. switch a -roo. swap, I think I mixed swap and switch a -roo. anyway, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides to move that 5x over, and I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides, that's, uh, that's 2y, what color, uh, from both sides to, to move the to move that two y over, so, um, so then, so then, what happens is we've got negative two y plus ten. So I've moved that two y over to the left side, and, and you know when when things move sides on an equation, you just flip the sign. So, so two y goes over here; it's gone from over here, so it becomes negative two y, and we've got plus ten. And then we move that five x as well, so um, we've got uh, minus seven, and then. We've got another x over here, so we can actually go ahead and combine like t like terms. x minus 5x, so that'd be minus, um, minus 4x. Is, okay, so um, let's see what we have so far. So we've got, you know, something roughly like this. 
we're, we need to do some work to make it look more like this on that side. So, um, let us, first of all, first of all, I need some more room. Let's see. Um, all right, you know what, Gibbon man, why don't you move over here? Let's put you in front so people can see you. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna rearrange this size. Okay, so we'll see what we have. All right, we've got negative two y plus ten is equal to negative four x minus seven. Okay, I'm just want the x's. I don't know. What am I doing? I'm I'm getting it so that I can factor in a sec. So I just flip the order of these around. Um, okay. Uh, now I want to factor out something from the x, which, so it's not negative four x; it's just um, x on the inside of some parentheses. So let's, so we just factor out that negative four. So it'll be negative four times x. Um, now we could just divide this, um, divide this negative seven by negative four. So it'll be plus seven. In other words, if I multiply negative four times seven fourths, um, I'll just do it over here. Negative four times seven fourths. Fourths cancel out, so that'd be negative one. Negative one times negative seven equals seven. So I just I just rewrote this so that if I multiply it by negative four, this factor that I pulled out, it, it would get to be what it what it was. Um, Oh yeah, sorry. This was this was negative. This this is pos yeah. Sorry, this should have been positive, so which makes it negative seven, which is what I had there. All right. Hopefully you're still with me. If not, um, that's okay. You probably won't get anything um, that's this elaborate um, necessarily. Pro probably mostly what we'd be doing is you know slope intercept to point slope or standard to point slope, and that's those are a little bit easier. Uh, but just you know. I'm d I'm just taking steps and rearranging things, following the rules of algebra, so that my final equation will be in this form. So now I've got this side to look good, right? I've got some number times parentheses x um, minus some number. Actually, I I could do minus negative seven fourths instead of plus seven fourths. Um, okay, so this side is looking good. Um, now what's left on this side is that negative. 2y plus 10, and uh, I want y to be by itself, um, not so not negative 2y. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. It's going to be kind of a a big step there. Um, so negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So I've got y. Um, 10 divided by negative 2 is is negative 5. So I've got y minus 5. That's looking awesome. This side is looking good. And I'm going to write this side of the equation down below. Uh, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is um, just 2. So y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus negative 7 fourths. And now, uh, do we have something that looks like this? I mean, apart from, sorry, it's split up into two levels here, but uh, y minus some number, y minus some number, equals some number times parentheses x minus some number. Boom. There's the point slope form for that one.